Hey guys, welcome to another review. Uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing the new Outpost Free Security Suite. And so if you go to their, um, if you go to free, if you go to this website, uh, or you can go just Google Outpost Free, it'll take you to this web page. And supposedly Outpost just came out with a new suite that is completely free. I have a couple problems. Uh, the first problem is with their statement right here. The first free complete internet security suite. And we know that's wrong. They're not the first. But, you know, they like to say that they are. And uh, you can go and you download it. And you get some, you know, it tells you they, they're trying to push their paid one onto you, of course. So there's uh, some things that it doesn't do as well. It doesn't provide multi daily updates you only get one update per day which is just really crap in my opinion um, multiple languages so you only get a couple languages I don't know how many because I just install it in English and you just you just don't get everything that they that they give you in the pro one because of course they're trying to upsell it to you but that's alright whatever so I installed it and uh, as you can see, I, you have to get a license for it before you can even run it at all, ever. You don't even get a, like a trial. You have to get the license first. And I did update it. So, I don't know, it was about an hour ago or so today. So that was my only update, as you can see. So I'm going to first take it out of auto-learn mode because it automatically goes into that which is kind of weird because okay I understand it reduces alerts but how does it guarantee that I'm not putting this on, on an already infected computer it doesn't so automatically going into auto learn mode without first scanning the computer to make sure that the computer you know at least with your antivirus is relatively clean before you do that kind of weird and you get you know the usual stuff you get firewall you get the antivirus anti-leak you get an anti-spam here and an event manager not really too complicated same old same old so let's open up Internet Explorer here I have some new links I would say I don't know 10 12 hours old so they're fairly fairly new Let's just see how, how much RAM it's using just for the hay of it. Just to kind of give us an idea here. I can feel it slow down the computer a little bit. So we have... We have what? Um, let's just round everything up and call it between 25-ish to 35-ish, right around there, because of course it's going to vary. And I copied the wrong one. Hold on one second. Okay, that, that, this is the right one. That was for my last uh, video series. So let's get going here. So we are out of auto-learn auto mode. Everything else is stock. So let's see what damage we can do. Okay. Let's move on. Now this has some form of hips protection, though it's I've probably seen better ones. So this one wants to go to, this is a firewall process. So I always allow firewall out. You probably want it to go download something. Okay, this one wants to modify an auto start entry. So we will block that because it gives me, gave me an option to do that. Now this one, of course, again, wants this program wants to out. Now this one's trying to modify 
So we will block that. Okay, that one's dead. So far we haven't seen anything pop up from the antivirus. Okay, this one wants out. So we will allow that. Once again, it wants out, port 80. out. We allow that. This one wants to, it looks like it's trying to inject code into Explorer. So we will block that. It's trying to mess around with the auto start entry. Okay, it looks like Outpost is having problems. Okay, finally. So we will remove that. And okay, this one wants out again. Okay, let's move on. Okay, it looks like we had an automatic block here. This one wants out for, through the firewall. You do get a ton of pop-ups, especially as you can see. That's why they made that auto-learn mode, but the way it's implemented is kind of weird. Like I said, it just doesn't make any sense to me. like that one's not working anymore. Boy, a lot of these just aren't working. Okay, let's try the last one here. Okay, so I'm going to do a full system scan and then I'm going to reboot and do a scan with Malwarebytes. So this one looks like it's trying to run again. So I'll be back when the full system scan is done. See you then. Alright, so I'm finally back here. It took a while to do this scan, but uh, it took 37 minutes by the counter it has, which is kind of a really long time for having nothing on this computer but I found nothing. So now I'm going to restart. I'm going to run CCleaner and then I'm going to run Malwarebytes. So I'll be back with the Malwarebytes results when this is done. Alright, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here. Found 10 things here. So it found a bunch of registry keys from the Security Essentials Rogue, another Rogue, and a backdoor bot. So some stuff definitely get uh, got put in here, not all the way to affect the system, but enough to leave over some files. So I'm going to remove these, and then I'm going to pause the video. Oh, gee, of course. And, um... And then I'll do a scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware, and I'll be back with the results from that. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, Super Anti Spyware says it found 43 things. Um, Looks like a lot of these are cookies, but they're put in a uh, in the app data roaming folder. It also found a malware trace, which I think this might be a 
false positive because I'm getting the same thing on my computer. But it found a uh, start a Windows start menu, uh, a link that was left over for that rogue. So I'm gonna remove all these, and then I'm gonna do a scan. I'm gonna restart, and then I'm gonna do one more scan with Hitman Pro. So I'll be back with the result from Hitman Pro when this is done. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro here, finish scanning. And as you can see, it looks like we have a rootkit in here, which in my opinion is a big, 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 big failure for anything that has a so-called HIPS uh, application. It should not have let this get in at all. But I will show you why it happened. Um, what I'm going to do is, let me pause the video for one second. Okay, what I have here is the Komodo leak tester. This is a, uh, some of you know I've used it before, some of you don't know, but what it does is it, it tests out different um, possible infection parameters on a HIPS application. So if we hit test here, and I'm going to block all activities for this, and you'll see I'm going to block the internet too from being able to get out. and it'll take a second here and then um, you'll see I'll, I'll actually go into where is it at into settings and application rules and I'll edit this and you'll see that everything is set to block This is block access, block access. So this application shouldn't be able to do any damage at all. And you can still see that there's still some vulnerabilities here. Okay, that's really annoying. But you can see here that some of these, uh, this should be completely green right now. So even with everything set to block, it this doesn't protect you. There's, there's still a couple of vulnerabilities left, and an application will really never work with everything everything set to block. So, as you can see, they've gotten better, but not good enough, especially because they let that root kit in. So, final... This is really annoying. Final synopsis of Outpost Security. I probably wouldn't look at it. It failed in malware tests saw that it let things through um, it only lets you update once a day and it's just not as what they call it a full featured security suite it really isn't the AV didn't catch anything so that's it on this one I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna upload it soon so I'll talk to everybody later